Okay, here we are, Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. James P. Madonna from the Facebook group, Everything is Food. Not bad. Not too bad, right? Uh, no no uh, Mongolian barbecue action going on here. Uh, but I do see some delectables here. Uh, what's this? Looks like a salmon fillet. I'm sure they're going to be bringing out. They're going to be bringing out more um, seafood delights later on. You know Commodore Jeff Zambello. I want to give a shout out to Commodore Jeff Zambello. All right, this time it's going to be a surf and turf because look at this succulent duck, man. Look at this. Look at this. be any more succulent I like using that word succulent look at this look at this man oh 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 hey I almost sound like uh, mr. mace man when he was swinging the king, uh, the king's scepter remember I can't get enough of my my doll my doll I can't get enough of my girl remember that? I sound like him with this stuff unbelievable Commodore Jeff Zambella look at that look at that That's, it's just my friend making all that noise. He doesn't see that. Yeah, he's, he's putting the bowls. See the bowls that I put my lemons in? The soup bowls. Look at, look at those beautiful soup bowls. Look how beautiful they are. All right. Okay. Hello, how sir. You how you doing? doing? Good, good, good. We got here tilapia. Looks like tilapia. I don't know. I don't know. Get some. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm getting the belly because that's where the omega three, omega three fish oils are in the fat. So you notice I'm grabbing the the belly portion. Okay, there you go. Grabbing the belly. Okay, there you go. Salmon fillet. What do we got here? Tilapia. I don't know what the hell it is. It looks like tilapia. I don't know. Then it'll be it'll be turf, turf, and surf. Commodore Jeff Zambello. It'll, it'll be turf, turf, and surf, right? I don't know. What should I do? All right. I'll, I'll grab the the tender morsels, the chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea. There you go. Oh, I put it right on top of the duck. How about that? So we got turf, covering turf uh, on the side of surf. All right, now we got Mongolian barbecue. Nobody's there. Otherwise, I'd be taking the video of it. That's all right. Later on. What do we got here? Chicken, meatballs. Oh, the Arabic rice is back. Ah, that's very good. I don't have room for it, but I this time I will not forget the Arabic rice. Oh, Commodore, Jeff Sambello. They got the bouillabaisse base here. Oh, Zupa de, uh, I mean, um, Fruta de Mar. Look at this in the cream sauce. Oh, Commodore. I'm not talking about the the, the group from the 80s with Lionel Richie either, the Commodores. I'm talking about you, Jeff Zambello. Look at this. Oh, Bouillabaisse. base, French style. I'm going to have to hit the Bouillabaisse. base. Hopefully, hopefully I'll remember and I won't get overwhelmed. But look at this Arabic rice. Look at this Arabic rice. Look how beautiful. It's got, it's got lamb. It's got lamb. It's got uh, slivered almonds. Spices, look, look how good that looks. You jabronis, Arabic rice, beautiful, beautiful. All right, where was I? Um, 
Nah, I don't feel like having that. No fried calamari yet. Platanos Maduros. A, a Latino a specialty. Uh, okay. I don't have room for the broccoli. Oh, look at that. Spinach pie. Oh, I gotta get some of those. There you go. Spinach pie with feta cheese inside, I bet. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I don't know. I don't see any spinach. Spinach pie. Well, he uses feta cheese in, in everything, which is great. Speaking of the, this feta cheese uh, pie, I want, I'll give a shout out to the Greek, uh, the creator himself, Mario Fedras. Zorba the Greek, you know? Okay, also give a shout out to Salvatore Mercurio and everyone else. Anthony Laura, Mick Von Raven. Okay. Donald Boos, who is now in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, on yet another vacation. Have a great time and a great and, and a safe trip back, Donald Boos. Um, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Any papaya? No, no papaya. No papaya, no mango. Oh, look at that. Look at that uh, exotic pastry. It looks like shredded wheat. It's like shredded wheat cereal. And no, no deluxe uh, seafood salad today. You can't have what you want at all times. You gotta, you know, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't, but not this time. No exotic super de deluxe seafood salad. I will have to come back for the lemons. This time there are lemons, I don't see any limes, all right? I wonder what this is. Looks like shredded, shredded wheat, but I know it's not. It's some kind of exotic baklava, maybe? I don't know. This is the creator, Mario Petrus. You recognize this? It's very, it's heavy and dense, though. I've never, I've never seen it before. I know that the, the head chef and the owner is Turkish, so maybe it's a Turkish uh, um, pastry. I will, I will have to try one though. All right. Let me go. Oh, this is the standard baklava, which is excellent here, by the way. Let me get my home base situated here. People aggravate me, I swear. When I say aggravation, I mean uh, not my favorite uh, waitresses here. So we have turf over turf next to surf. Let me see if there's any Mongolian barbecue action. But at the same time, I need to get a bowl for my lemons. For my lemons. And I'm going to take a, a all right. I'm gonna take a yellow bowl to, to match my lemons. Oh, here we go. There we go, Mongolian barbecue action, Royal Hibachi, Route 46 West, out of Brooklyn, New Jersey. Look at all that shrimp, man. There goes the sauce. Mm. Okay. Nope. okay, there you go. She does she wants it mild. I like the hottest peppers in the world. The uh, the Carolina Reaper. The scorpion chili, the ghost chili from from my north uh, uh, eastern India. Wow, this guy is busy, man. Look at it. 
This is the king of the Mongolian barbecue. This guy's the king. Look at that action. Look at that. Look at that steam. Just smell the, the aromatic vapors of the uh, sauce and the seasoning in the sauce. You see the snow pea pods? Uh. Uh, that's the part I love the best when he pours his sauce and all the steam comes up. Okay, we're back at the Mongolian barbecue. Look at that action. Look at all, look at all that succulent food. Some people want spice, some people want a little bit of spice, some people want a lot of spice. You know, uh, some people want no spice. You know, like the Northern Europeans and the Irish and the, the, the English, they don't like any spices. Thank God I don't work with the general public anymore. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let me go get my lemons and start on round one before my food gets cold. I can hear that, that wonderful mariachi music in the background. All right, Commodore. Okay, here we go. Col color coordination. Bowl with lemons. Bowl with lemons. I need lemons for my my water and my seafood. Look at that. Look at this nice big gigantic lemons. Yeah, I'll, I'll save you some here. All right, let me go back. Every time, every time I'm I'm waiting for something. So there's always some some lady that's right behind me, crawling up my ass. You know, I mean, always rushing me. Pain in my ass. See, I don't, I don't work with the general public anymore. But just being around them annoys the shit out of me. Okay, here we go. We got surf over surf. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. We have turf over turf over turf next to surf. Commodore Jeff Zambello. So that means I have succulent roast duck with tilapia on top of that and this um, feta cheese pies made with phyllo dough on top of the tilapia. So that's uh, uh, that's turf over turf over turf next to the uh, oil rich belly of the broiled spicy broiled salmon filet okay here's my beautiful lemons all right all right i'm going to start eating now before it gets cold but uh i wonder there's the ice cream station i wonder if they got the handle fixed i don't see any fatty off buckles over there i wonder if they fixed it i don't know Okay, round two, James P. Madonna coming at you. Facebook group, everything is food. They just put the, the shrimp out with the shell and heads on. They got more clean shrimp in Creole sauce and, sauce, and they're just putting out the snow crab clusters. All right. The succulent mushroom caps. I love mushrooms because I'm a fun guy. Um, let's see what's going on here. Snow crab is going out. There's the crawfish. There's the snow crab clusters. Beautiful, beautiful. Woo! Yeah. <clears throat> I saw in the chef store they got special scissors for cutting the crab open. It makes it much easier. People don't even know it. People don't even know it. Well, there's the steak. 
Uh, whiting. The whiting just came out. No, I'm not going to go for the whiting. There's some more Mongolian barbecue action. Beef, shrimp. Uh, they look like uh, lo mein. Looks like lo mein noodles with uh, uh, bean sprouts, snow peas. Look at that, beautiful. I don't know, is that beef or is that uh, armadillo or. Uh This guy's an outstanding cook also. Usually, he's the uh, king of the sushi bar. He's the king of the sushi bar, but they got, they switched now. These two guys are the best. These two guys are the best. Okay. Let me zero in on, what the heck? They took away the Arabic rice? No. They took away the Arabic. How could you how could you take away the Arabic rice? Or did they put it over here? No. No, they didn't put it over there. They took it away. Hey, why would they take away something that good? Oh jeez. Look, I got so upset about taking away the Arabic rice that I spilled I spilled some of this bouillon base. Oh my god. Earth. Well, <clears throat> but they want to take away the succulent Arabic rice with the cat succulent pieces of lamb in it. Sac sacrificial lamb. I didn't get to have my sacrificial lamb. They took away the Arabic rice. Nah. You know, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea why. Unbelievable. I'm very disappointed. Why were on earth with the... No shit. I better get out of here. Before I get yelled at. I just spilled... Some I just spilled some bouillon base. Let me get out of here. All right. Here we go. Royal Abachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Facebook group, anything, everything is food. Everything is food. James P. Madonna. Here we have the... Um, King crab, followed by the snow crab, followed by the whole shrimp with head on and crawfish. Right. Um, they, oh man. they took away the Arabic rice. You guys took away the Arabic rice? The Arabic rice? Oh, it's coming? Good, good. Because I think there's lamb in it, that's why. Alright. Almost coming. Almost coming. Almost coming. Almost coming. There's the asparagus is good, but it makes your pee stink to high heavens when you urinate. Whiting. Um, let me check out the... Uh, now, I'm, I don't know. Oh, all right, I'll take some of this. But um, 
salmon uh, sashimis. All right. And sashimi. All right. Uh, followed by followed by some uh, white tuna white tuna very tasty white tuna Oh, hey, the Mongolian barbecue is back. How about that? Mongolian barbecue action. They said the Arabic rice is coming out. So. Hopefully that is true. You know what? I'm just thinking, instead of, instead of mixing the wasabi with the soy sauce for dipping, I'm thinking of just putting a dab of wasabi on each sashimi, the white tuna and the uh, salmon um, uh, sashimi, and just getting the, the real full flavor of the seafood and not, uh, and not, uh, um, commingling the flavor of the fish with uh, soy sauce. I mean, lack of a better word, commingle. Combine or whatever, or alter the flavor of the raw fish. So I'm gonna, le I'm gonna try that. Right. I know, he said the Arabic rice was coming out. It's really wonderful. It's lots of succulent, tender pieces of lamb in there and uh, slivered almonds. I don't know when it's coming out. I better not hold my breath waiting for it. These young men are at the party room. The head chef and the owner. The chef of the future. So bad. I'm, I'm so happy that I... Uh, that I do not work for the general public anymore. Anyway, there's nothing going on here. Just a bunch of low main sizzling. I I got I got some good shots earlier. Oh, here we go. Here's come the action. Here come the action. Some beef with lo mein, some plain lo mein. There we go. Got some hot pepper going in there. Very good for the cardiovascular system. One of nature's most medicinal herbs or plants, the hot pepper, capsaicin. You're getting a little education here, people. Capsaicin. All right. Teriyaki. This gentleman wants teriyaki. Got to get that steam. Got to get that steam going. All right. And, you know what? Let me go sit down because uh, let me. All right. Put in the dish. Put in the dish. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, hey, hey. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da.
Where is my Arabic rice? Da -da 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 -da. I don't see it. I wonder if he was casting shadows on poop deck when he told me the Arabic rice was coming out. I wonder if he was pumping bilge water, bilge water, when he told me that. Or is it really going to come out? Arabic rice? No more, huh? Uh, I ain't going to worry about it. Arabic rice is it coming back? Arabic rice coming back or no? Well, uh, well. You know the Arabic rice that had the lamb, pieces uh, of lamb? They, they had it earlier, they took it away. I don't know. Yeah, it, it sure changed. There's no doubt about that. There's the uh, shuck. Oh, shucks. There's the shucks oysters. Commodore Jeff Zambello. Oh, shucks. Oh, oh shucks. Oh, look what. Oh, I know quinoa. Uh, more calcium than milk, but I'm, I, I saw this came out. Now look what's out, look what's out. The best cold seafood salad in the world. In the world. In the world. Look at that. It came out. Look at this. Quinoa. Quinoa salad. I'll try a little quinoa salad. I'll try a little. But it, the, as you can see, the good stuff is coming out. Oh, okay, thank you. Gracias. All right, that that means the Arabic rice is coming coming out. All right. All right. Th thank you. Thank you. Gotta get the lamps. What, what is that fancy looking baklava? Like a yeah, shred yeah. shredded? It's shredded. They call it kataifa. Kataifa? kataifa. kataifa. Is it Turkish dessert? Turkish dessert. Oh, good. Is it Greek? It's Greek. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah, yeah. Greek. Kataifa. All right, got it. See, I'm getting an education here. Kataifa. Is the ice cream? Um. Well, oh, here it comes. I think so. I think here it comes. Oh, uh, here it comes. Arabic rice. Commodore Jeff Zambello. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I can dig it. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Kataifa. Kataifa. Now I know what that dessert is. Kataifa. Oh, look at this. Lamb. Sacrificial lamb, maybe. Look at it. The sacrificial lamb. Okay, got some Arabic rice going. Of course, you I got you got to have room for it. You know, you can't go too crazy. All right, that's it. Bronies. All right, Arabic rice. Very good. Very good. All right, let me go back to my table. Kataifa. Now I know what that baklava is. The shredded baklava. Oh, oh my God. This is my la this is going to be my last round before dessert. And you know I'm going to try that kataifa and of course my uh, infamous ice cream. You got some a couple fatty odd buckles over there.
Fatty, uh, fatty uh, buckles, fatty ice cream station. <laughs> Need I say any more? Hello, look at this wonderful cold mixed seafood salad with octopus and squid and shrimp and mussels. How okay, I'm gonna get one piece of pineapple, fresh pineapple, all right? Because I'm getting real full. One segment of watermelon. I like my grandfather used to say. He used to call warty, warty melon, warty melon. God rest his soul, warty melon. I'm gonna look for one gigantic strawberry. Hopefully it's not gonna be a radioactive strawberry. No uh, Chernobyl Fukushima strawberry. One of these katyphus. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit the I scream, I scream, I scream. Hey, look what's out there. Do, um, tres leche, a Latin American delight. I honestly have no room for tres leche. It, it looks heavy. Katifa. Katifa. All right, hold on. I'm, I'll be out of your way, don't worry. Here we go. Commodore Jeff Zambello. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. Shucked oysters. Oh, shucks. All right. And then after that, I'll go right to the Fatty Arbuckle Station. Ice cream. Oh, man. Oh. Now, I hope these kids don't leave the door open, man, to the freezer. I don't know. I hope they're conscientious enough to shut it. Look at those beautiful changing colors, those beautiful ice cream LED lights. Okay, ice cream. I'm here at the ice cream station. The beautiful LED lights, different color flashing lights. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? What flavor am I gonna get? Let me think. What am I in the mood for? You know what I think I might get? It's cross between rainbow sherbet. I'm tired of chocolate and strawberry, but you know what? Chocolate chip mint. All right. You know what? Let me have chocolate chip mint. We have some chocolate chip mint here. There you go. Uh, hot ice cream. And, and it's hard too. You know? That's the good thing about it. Come on. Give me a hard time. I have to take a wide stance to really dig it here because it's in the back. Uh. All right, I'm not gonna do any big mountain because I'm pretty, I'm pretty stuffed to be honest with you. Commodore Jeff Zambello, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stuffed. Uh. Oy. 
Yeah, I'm not going crazy. I'm not going to go crazy. Eh, yeah, one more. One more for the road. One more for the road. Uh, it depends how wide the road is and how long it is. Uh, in this case, the road is... It's actually a back road. I normally go create Mount Everest, but... Alright, see? I'm nice enough to close the door. I'm nice enough to close the door. Alright, the handle's not fixed yet, but they put this on here. Oh gosh, alright, that's it. Oh, what are these? Some kind of wraps? Invented by the Arapaho Indians. Commodore Jeff Sambello, the, Arap the Arapaho Indians. Did they, is that where the first wrap recipe was invented? Anyway. Got my spoon going here. Hey Lisa, um, this is, I had one of these. This is very interesting type of baklava. Did you ever see anything like this before? Uh, he told me it was a, t um, I forgot the name. I can't pronounce it. It's uh, Turkish and Greek. 